here. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I can't wait to share my September faves with you. Yes, these are my favorite makeup, skincare, and hair care products for the month of September. Actually, it's pretty much for the whole summer because I have not done a favorites video in quite some time. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in the things that help us look and feel our best at 30, 40, 50, 60 like me, then I hope you subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos. Okay, let's get down to this. I'm going to start with my makeup items, and the first is a wonderful little eyeliner pencil, and this is the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Eyeliner in the color French Navy, and I have it on right now, and if you have brown eyes and have never tried a navy liner, it really does just help give your eyes a little extra sparkle. In fact, I was told that I had a twinkle in my eye the other day, and I thought, no, I don't have a twinkle in my eye. I have this Smashbox liner on my lids. And one thing I really love about it is look at that tip. It is totally always sharp because basically there's a sharpener that's right here in this little lid here. And I will tell you that if you don't want to sharpen it every time because it does help it wear down a little too soon if you do it every time, you just don't totally twist it on. You leave a little bit of a gap and that way it is not using the sharpener for the next time you use that liner but it goes on absolutely beautifully smooth. It has that tiny bit of navy to it. Not super obvious, but it does make you look a little more sparkly, makes the whites of your eyes maybe look a little whiter. This is an absolutely wonderful eyeliner. It lasts all day. It is great. Okay, my next monthly fave is the True Match Correcting Concealer in the color Peach. And I've mentioned this before. I have used this for several years. I have a lot of black on the inside of my eyes right beside my nose. And I'll show you how this works because as you can tell, I do have the darkness there. I'll just take a little bit of the peach here. And what the peach color corrector does is it cancels out the black. Look at the difference. This is not done. This is done. This is like $5, something like that. I'll, I'll do it over here. Look at that. Oh my. Absolutely much, much better. My eyes will never be perfect because I do have aging eyes but that really does help soften the black in those inner corners and makes you look a little bit younger and fresher. Okay, this next product is one of my favorite eye products ever, and I'm about out of it and I'm going to order it again. However, I have used it for probably a year. It lasts a very good long time. This is by a wonderful maker, Charlotte Tilbury, and this is called the Color Chameleon Eyeshadow in the color Champagne Diamonds. And what I do with this, you could use it just as an all over lid color if you're not afraid of too much shimmer. But what I do is I put on my normal eyeshadow and then I always just take a little bit of this and just put it in the inner corner. I, I put it on this morning so it may still be there. But see, it just gives you a little bit of a glow at that inner corner. See that? Just a little bit of sparkle. I really do like that. Let's see, let me put it on a little better there maybe. Then I'll that is one eye. I have it on the one eye. I'll put it on the other eye. Try to avoid your eyeliner. But you see, it just gives you just the smallest hint of sparkle. No one would ever know that you had a second eyeshadow on. It looks like it's gotten all over my eyeliner. So let me redo the eyeliner a little bit, just right on that inner corner. Usually, you don't have to do this. It just happened to be that I was a little sloppy with it. So anyway, that is how that looks. It just gives you a wonderful little look of glimmer and gleam at the inner corners of your eye, and I think it's great. Okay, next I have two different blushes. One is high-end, and the other is very moderate in price. The high-end one is the Kevin Aquan, what is it called? The Neo Blush in the color Pink Sand. And this is fabulous, and I don't know if you can tell. I guess you can. There it is, almost looks like a little bit of a bronzer color to a medium, kind of a fuchsia pink, to a very light pink highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this to show you how it looks. And I just take a little swipe there, and then just a little bit there. I kind of don't want to do too much because I'd like to show you the next one too, which, you know, I'll probably look terrible, too much blush. But anyway, that is how that looks. I always do a little bit on my forehead because then you get this triangular effect, which emphasizes the center of your face and especially your eyes. But look how beautiful that looks. It comes with just the slightest bit of shimmer, very tiny bit, you can't really see, just enough to give you a natural glow. Now, this next blush is probably going to do me in because I'd like to show it to you too, 
But this is a fabulous buy, and it is from Sephora. It is called the Sephora Micro Smooth Enchant Palette. It says Multitasking Baked Face Palette. Can't say that. But here it is, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I think the whole thing is $20. But look at these two gorgeous blush colors. This is a matte. This has a little bit of a shimmer. I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of that on there. Just a tiny bit, because I'm definitely getting overdone on the blush. <laughs> Too much blush. But I did want to show it to you. But this is more of a peach color, where the other one is more of a pink. But look how gorgeous that is. And then, if you want to add a little bit of highlight to that blush, just kind of come in here and, and I don't need it. So anyway, I did it before the video. I'll do a little bit of little bit of highlighter down the nose. But look how gorgeous that looks. It's very, very natural being the peach tones. I think you could get away with either one of these blushes and it could be the blush that you wear every single day. Okay, the next item I have to show you has become a total fave and these are the Peepers Readers. And these are kind of high-end readers. I think they're around $25, but I believe I may have a discount code for you. You might check below the video for that. But these were awarded an Oprah's Favorite Things Award a couple of Christmases ago, maybe three to five years. I'm not sure exactly, but I absolutely love these. These are very high-quality readers. I tend to buy really cheap Walgreens-type readers. They're ugly. They get smudgy very easily. They just don't hold up at all kind of junky readers. <laughs> Look at these. Aren't these gorgeous? And each pair of the readers comes in a nice little case like this, and it is super good quality. It, it feels like prescription glasses. It really does. And look at this. I think they are so darling. Is that cute or what? And this is in the color gray turquoise, and I'll link these below, but I absolutely love them. And one thing that these readers have that the Walgreens type readers do not have is they block blue light. And that is the light that we get from our cell phone glare, from our PCs, that kind of thing, from our iPads. That blue light over time really puts great strain on your eyes. But these glasses block that, so you can really spend a lot longer time looking at your devices and not hurting your eyes. But aren't those absolutely beautiful? I just think they're lovely. And this color is the gray turquoise, or gray tortoise, I think it is. And then let me show you the other color. And I love this little case because I actually keep these in the case and I'm able to keep them scratch free that way. And this is the same style, but in the color, I believe, blue turquoise. And I will link that below. But isn't that just absolutely darling? I love these. And they come in a full range of prescription strength readers. And so you just give them your particular strength and they come very fast, very fast shipping. And I think they are elegant and quite stylish. Now, my next monthly phase is this Resist Polish Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner. And this gets five stars everywhere I found it over the internet. It's sold at Sephora. It's sold at the Polish Choice website. This is, I think, the third bottle that I've ordered. And here's a look at some of the key ingredients. It has hyaluronic acid that helps your skin retain moisture. It has potent antioxidants to defend against environmental damages and soften fine lines and wrinkles. And it has evening primrose oil and other fatty acids to help strengthen the moisture barrier of your skin. It helps really restore dry skin patches if you have those. But when I read the reviews, this is what prompted me to order this maybe three bottles ago. And that is that everyone raved about it. And they said they're not quite sure what it's doing, but it feels like as you put it on and you just put it on with a little cotton round, it feels like it's just plumping up your skin. And I have to say that I keep reordering this because for some reason, it just seems to plump up my skin, plump up those fine lines and wrinkles, and just give my skin that more glassy, perfect look, which I love. Now, this next product I have been using to bring on the glow. And in fact, I do have a video that I made specifically about this product. I call it the Glow Maker, which it certainly is. And I think my skin has been looking very much better over the last three or four months since I've been using these pads. They are Glycolic Fix Night Pads. And as you can see on Amazon, it got almost a five-star rating with almost 22,000 ratings. So it is a fabulous product. And here is a look at some of the key ingredients. It has salicylic acid for pores and blemishes, and the salicylic acid really cleans out those pores and helps your pores look smaller. I have really noticed that. It has hyaluronic acid for skin hydration. It really helps 
The moisture barrier of the skin helps plump up those fine lines and wrinkles, and it also contains a super strength 5% glycolic acid, which is a very high level of glycolic acid resurfacing, and this little guy contains 60 pads, and in fact, I just reordered it, and there's a larger size. I'm getting the larger size. You use this two to three nights a week, uh, don't use it in the morning because basically it is exfoliating those top layers of your skin, the dead skin cells, it's taking them off. So you don't want to go out in the sun right after you use this. Do use a sunblock with this for sure because it can make you more sun sensitive. But as I have been using this and I've probably used it maybe for three months now, I absolutely love it because I truly think it is making my skin look more evenly textured, finer, and it does help bring on a bit of glow. Okay, my next product is a product you all asked me about, and this is the Gold Bond Neck and Chest Firming Cream. And I decided to start using this again maybe two months ago because a lot of my viewers were asking what they could do to soften the wrinkles on your neck. And I thought lately I had not been having good results on my neck. I thought it really looked wrinkly. And I remembered that early on in my channel, maybe three years ago, I had done a video about this and I went back and watched the video and the before and after there was great. And so I thought, you know, it doesn't make sense that this works, but it obviously does. So I started using it again. And ever since I've been using it, some people have commented on my neck because it really does look smoother and more line free. Well, not line free. You're never line free when you're my age, but it is certainly softening the wrinkles on my neck. And I think it's firming my neck. I try to remember to bring it down onto my decollete area. I don't tend to do that because my décolleté still looks pretty good, but I really need to do this to keep my décolleté looking firm. And here you can see after about 6,000 ratings, it has four and a half stars. People were absolutely raving about this. It also contains salicylic acid, which is just wonderful. And basically after two weeks, 97% of people saw the firming benefits of the Gold Bond Neck and Chest Firming Cream. I don't know why it works, but I think it really does. Plus, I think it's around $10, which is wonderful. Now, my last two favorites are hair products. And the first is this Joyco Joy Whip 07 Firm Hole Design Foam Mousse. It's a mouthful. And I will say the packaging just changed. And I know that because I just reordered this and it was a little confusing at first, but I'll put a link below the video that links to this wonderful mousse. I have tried so many mousses over the years and mostly I didn't think they did anything at all. I tried all kinds of drugstore varieties, some high-end mousses or mises or whatever, and they never really made a difference until I tried one, which is the Swartzkopf Maniac Mousse, which one of my viewers recommended, and it worked. It really made my hair voluminous. It was great, but over time, it also made my hair very dry. So another viewer recommended this Joyco Mousse, and it gives me great body, just like the Swartzkopf Mousse, but it does not dry out my hair over time. If you want a lot of body and manageability for your hair, I really recommend this mousse very highly. Okay, another hairstyle recommendation I have for you is the John Frieda Go Blonder Lightning Shampoo and Lightning Conditioner. And this is an amazing product. And I don't have before and after pictures for you because I just tend to use it a couple of times. My situation is that my hairstylist does not get my hair quite as blonde as I want it to be, but I ordered these products because they have thousands of ratings, mostly five star and lots of great pictures. And let me show you the before and after pictures. You basically use this shampoo and conditioner just like you would any other normal shampoo and conditioner, but over one to five times, it lightens up your hair. It does not hurt your hair color. It does not make it look brassy. It just lightens things up. Here's a good example of a woman who used it five times. There she is before, it's kind of a dishwater blonde. And there she is after five times. Look at those gorgeous highlights. And that's exactly what happened for me. Another thing I found these to be really useful for is dealing with kind of darker roots as your roots grow in. And here's a woman who used it for that. There she is on the before picture. And there you can see on the after picture, not only are the streaks in her hair a little bit lighter, but it has kind of lightened up that top area so it blends things in much better. And I cannot really believe these work. And actually my hairdresser said, Beth, there's no way products like that can lighten your hair. Well, I'm sorry, JoLynn, but they really do. And I just love them. 
Now, my last hair recommendation is a very expensive hair dryer, and they don't even call it a blow dryer. This is the Dyson hair dryer, and I have used this for about a year, and it costs like $400, and it's hardly ever on sale. And I really could not believe I was going to buy this because I tend to be a bargain shopper for everything. But I saw so many convincing YouTubers talking about this and talking about how they thought their hair was much better using it and the fact that it blow dries hair very quickly that I decided to order it and I am so happy I did. And even though this is under warranty, if it weren't, I would pay $400 again to buy it if it broke. Please don't break though because you're an expensive little item. But I absolutely love this and I will link a video below where I show you how much using this cuts down my blow drying time. I think it's like four minutes to blow dry my hair from totally wet to totally dry. So that's really great. But also I just think it is very gentle on my hair. And ever since I've been using this, all of a sudden I've been able to get this volume out of my hair, which I never could before. I really think even though this is pricey, it is fabulous and worth it. Okay, my last product is a comfort product. And I wouldn't say to order this unless you just love sleeping in total comfort and waking up wonderfully refreshed. This is the Sleep and Glow Weighted Blanket. And as you can see, it is a very good quality comforter. This is the queen, so this is about all you're going to see of it. It is top quality cotton, and you could put this inside a duvet if you wanted to. I think that's the right word, the comforter bag, whatever. I think I may do that because I don't want to have to take this to the cleaners. I hope to keep it protected, but I wish you could feel it here. It's super good quality, and it just feels weighted. It just feels heavy. And let me show you the pictures from the website. There is how it looks when it comes in, and it is very heavy, like 25 pounds. There is a picture of a woman sleeping under it and being very comfortable there. And here is what the website reports. It says, wake up alert and full of energy to face the new day. Envelops the body and feels like a warm embrace from your mother. Helps reduce anxiety, allows you to fully relax and fall asleep faster. Raises your serotonin levels and lowers your cortisol. That's the stress hormone. According to an American clinical study, 78% of participants reported reduced anxiety and a feeling of calm when using the weighted blanket. And that is exactly what Alan and I are experiencing and we absolutely love this. I will say it is too hot to use in the summer months and so we've just put it back on our bed and it is absolutely wonderful. For some reason when you get under this, you just feel comforted. Like it said, it's kind of like your mother is hugging you or something like that. It is absolutely wonderful and we have noticed that we sleep more soundly. I, for one, usually wake up during the night and since I've been using this, I think I'm waking up less often. But more importantly, I think it has anti-anxiety calming benefits for me and I wake up in the morning just feeling like I've had a much more wonderful night's sleep. Well, those are my September favorites, and if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that make us look and feel our best at 30, 40, 50, or 60, 70, 80, and on, then I hope you'll subscribe, and when you click that little bell, that just sends you an email notice of my future videos, and if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be very helpful. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and normally I read from some of these like positive thinking cards, but my thought for the day was actually a thought that I was having while I was on vacation recently. Alan and I went to Costa Rica, which gave us a lot of downtime to sit on the beach and think about our lives, you know, kind of evaluate things. And I'm about to retire here January 1, so in a few months I'm going to be semi-retiring, I would say, although I'll still want to work a little bit since I own the business. But anyway, I was really thinking about my channel. And at first I was thinking maybe through sharing all these beauty tips with you, maybe that's silly. Maybe at my age, you know, it looks like I'm trying too hard to stay young looking or whatever, and maybe it isn't really useful to you. And if you have any thoughts about that, I would love you to share them below the video. When I really got to thinking about it though, I realized that why I think it's important to share this information with you is, I don't expect you to go out and try all of the things that I do. As part of my job here on YouTube, I'm kind of like a beauty guinea pig, and that is my job to try things out for you. But I don't suggest that you try everything I do at all. The, the reason that I think my channel and other channels like mine are useful is that it helps keep us in the game. You know, I remember Alan's grandmother, Zenith. I love her name, Zenith. She was like 89 years old and she would have her little blue polyester pantsuit on and the perfect tan purse which matched her little tan shoes. 
everything looked good. She had her pearls on, she had her pearl earrings on, and I realized that when I'm 90, I'm gonna have a heck of a lot of wrinkles and probably look a lot different than I do now, but I hope I am just like Zenith. I hope every day when I get up in the morning, I suit up and show up and do the best I can to, to look as good as I can. And that's the power of continuing to use good skincare, to use good makeup, and to try every day, is that we are trying and that we're staying in the game. Because one thing I've noticed about women when they get 60, 70, 80, and beyond, is that we can tend to feel a little bit invisible. We can tend to give up a little bit because society tells us, oh, if you're not 25 years old and fairly perfect looking, that you know you should just be invisible, that you don't really count. But that is so not true. And as those of you who are my age and beyond know, inside we still feel young. I mean, I still feel like I'm 30, 35 years old inside, even though the outside definitely tells me different. So I think caring about our skincare and our makeup and our fashion at this age is very important because it keeps us from becoming invisible and helps us really get out there and enjoy every day of our life, no matter our age. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.